I was in Tokyo and I came across some vintage Harley Davidson artifacts and a leather cap and that kind of triggered it all. But the colors is like not your typical biker colors. So that was really important because nothing should ever be so literal. The texture is like the whole idea of eclecticism and I jumped off last spring with the whole grunge idea and layering and the idea of cutting things up and turning it and mixing and matching and this season I pushed it even more into texture because I wanted the styling to be easy but attuned to the present. Philip Lim is another one of those designers who just makes great pieces. I mean, there were just a million things in there that could fit into your wardrobe, and I feel like he really touched on a lot of the trends that we're starting to see this season. The men's wear, women's wear combination, tomboy look, seeing coats that combine a lot of different textures on one coat, a lot of fur blocking and also leather. And he has some great accessories too. There was one bag that was like multicolored fur cross body bag that I was you know, immediately latched onto. I love this collection. It was exciting to see what Philip put onto the runway this season after putting grunge forth and was really one of the first designers to give a nod to the entire grunge moment that's happening on the runways now. Very ahead of the curve and a lot of people referencing music because of that grunge collection that he did last season. I love this kind of taking it back to the street. The collection was really pure Philip. All those amazing little sweatshirt pieces really speaking to the whole idea of the tomboy attitude that's throughout the entire season. Great sweatshirts, little zip details on the side, a boy pant, especially when it's in a great hands tooth check, or certainly again that whole idea of a sweatshirt. A couture sweatshirt is going to be a must have in a girl's wardrobe for the coming season. And something very new on this runway, and I hope we see more of it. I hope he starts another trend with what he's put on this runway, that patch denim. The idea of patches all over denim, be it a mini skirt or the cargo denim top to that amazing little biker jacket. Biker jackets in every collection. It's not going to be a fashion season if we don't see more biker jackets. It really becomes the must-have in every girl's wardrobe as well. It's going to top everything. But I love the idea of it over that patch denim. It had a little bit of a 70s nod to it, but because it was on a skinny pant, it made it thoroughly modern. The badges was like a, a play on iconographies of bikers. And if you read all the badges too, it's kind of like a, a visual journal of the travel and the journey. Riders they stay with each other forever, you know what I mean? They, they grow with each other. It's like the whole gang is called Sonomama, which is a Japanese word, as you are. And those fun furs, almost looking like camouflage with black and brown and white and a funny olive green, either as a little vest under a coat. And of course, great handbags too. If you're gonna be a Philip Lim girl in your closet, you've gotta have great Philip Lim handbags as well. You know, it's interesting. He always styles his own shows. He has a real definite vision of who that girl is. And I love the idea that it really kind of, from start to finish, when he's sketching, when he's envisioning how he's gonna dress a girl every season, he's true to that vision from the very beginning to the very end. Even here in this location, there was a very street attitude. It was almost as if you were in the Lower East Side or Soho, or you even could have been on the Upper East Side watching those girls just cruising down the street.
Always plays with hard sop, always plays with dressed up, dressed down. Love the attitude of the show very much. Because it's the natural way I am. You know, I could be wearing like a beautiful tailored jacket, but I could a cut off sweatshirt and you know, that's just the way I am. It's what I'm interested in. So in essence, it just translates that way into the clothes too, because that's the most fun to me. You know?